you guys doing? It's Seb here. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to counter 433. In the previous episode, I did speak about 433, uh, the advantages, the key players, the squad builder. In this episode, I want to talk about the most overused formation and how to counter them. We're going to start with what are the best formations to counter uh, 433. In this photo, as you can see, these are the most used formations of my club. 433, whether it's Klopp, Valverde, or Pep Guardiola. 4-1-3-2 is most likely Santos and 4 triple 2 Diego Simeone, Marcelino, Deschamps, and some other low-rated managers. Now, spoke about the 4-3-3 before. I mean, on my club, you're, the two CMFs are basically the key players. Realistically, in real life, you want to mark the DMF. Most 4-3-3 uh, clubs like Liverpool, Man City, etc., their DMF is the creator. So, you know, realistically, in real life, they try to mark the creator. But on PES, if you can manage to lock down the two CMFs, then you will have an advantage. Because 4-3-3, whether it's Klopp, whether it's Valverde, it's a counter-attack formation. And if you give them chance, you'll get countered very badly with these fast players, these feature players, 99 dribbling, explosive power, speed. So it's very, very dangerous. Now, here are the formations that realistically will most likely dominate 4-3-3. 3-4-2-1... Regarding 3-4-2-1 and 3-5-2, right, these formations have so much fun to play. You have so many options. The, these formations may give 4-3-3 a hard time, but attacking-wise, you might struggle as well, especially with the 3-5-2. I think, in my opinion, the best formation 3 at the back this year is 3-4-3 because at least you have three players up front. But it's not for everybody. You know, you have to, you have to find a manager that has a decent tactical instructions that will switch um, three at the back. So... Regarding the three at the back, yeah, if you are really good at it, you will dominate 4-3-3 because you're outnumbering them in the midfield. I know most of people, you know, just bypass the midfield by doing a direct pass to their striker. But if you can manage not to let these type of players doing that direct pass into their striker, then you will dominate. You win the game. And after all, it's all about figuring out your opponent. Put the tactic, formation, players, player choices aside. It's all about figuring out your opponent and how to defend these situations. Um, in the meantime, in defensive-wise, it's very important to not to mess up your compactors in the middle. I mean, let's be honest. Most good good, good players attack down the middle, really. Uh, you know, usually it's like, uh, you know, regulars or who is new to pass, find an easy way out, going wide. I'm not saying good players will never go wide. Of course, if they can't break you down the middle, they will go wide. But as long as you're compact down the middle, then you're good. And 3-5-2, 3-2-4-1, for people who likes to do ping pong going down the middle, you're going to dominate. But if somebody's playing wide, then you might struggle because the squad builder with three at the back is important. Your LMF and RMF has to track back. I mean, ideally, we don't have RWB, LWB. Those LMF and RMF and three at the back, they're usually outward players. So if you use players like Neymar, Salah, these, these guys won't track back. Sure, you can use advanced instructions um, wing back, but that still doesn't help. Uh, usually, if you use attacking fullbacks who can play LMF or RMF, it's more balanced. I usually implement the Conte system, you know, one natural winger and one, na one natural fullback. That makes it a little bit more balanced. I think I spoke about three at the back as well. But is three at the back fun to play? Yes. Is it going to dominate 4-3-3? Three, three? Yes. But you have to be really good with three at the back. So my focus right now goes back to 4 triple 2 or 4-4-2 and the variations of 4-2-3-1. If you find a manager that has the two CMFs can be AMF on my club, you can turn it into 4141. You can turn it into 451. You can turn it into 4321. And any shape of 4231 will dominate the most used formations on my club. If you can master how to you know maintain your attack playing with one striker, then you will dominate. But I'm going to talk about 4 triple 2 is one of my favorite formations, especially the one with two AMFs on the flank. In this game, you can see in the background, I am using uh, Thomas Tuchel for a PSG manager on my club. It's 4 triple 2 with two AMF. It gives me the option to make one of the AMF a CMF and make the other DMF a CMF as well. Uh, I can shape it into a diamond to focus more down the middle. But usually, if I'm playing against 4 3 3, I just leave it as it is. Basically, four at the back, two DMFs. On the flanks, I have two AMFs and two strikers. So, comment down below what formation do you use uh, most of the time because. I find 4-3-3, a lot of people figuring out how to defend against 4-3-3. And personally, I can crack 4-3-3 this year, unless I can have an AMF, like playing 4-2-1-3. Uh, so in my opinion, if you're struggling against 4-3-3, there are many things you can do. If you watch my tactic videos, etc., most of these 
uh, videos that I uploaded, a lot of people already made 1K, 1K rating uh, with these tips and etc. You got to find your strengths and weaknesses. You got to pick a formation uh, that's going to dominate uh, most formations that people use. Or you want to, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. Use the 4-3-3 again. And you most likely, like, I'm tired of getting matched against 4-3-3 and 4 one 3 Santos. So I'm trying to figure out the system to beat that. And so far, uh, 4 triple 2 has been very, very successful. But obviously, there are, you know, there are some stuff that I implement into it tactically. For example, if somebody's spamming me on the flank with Salah, I use defense on my fullback. If somebody's um, doing that direct pass down the middle to their striker, I normally don't use defense on my DMF. The reason why, because... If I use defense on my DMF, when my opponent bypasses the midfield, making that direct pass deep from his own half to my to, the, to his striker, I want my DMF to be in front of his striker to cut the pass to counter him early and counter him in his own half. If I use defense on my DMF, my DMF is most likely going to be behind his striker. So I have to, his stri the striker will get the ball and I have to try to get the ball, uh, win the ball off him. But I would rather be in front of him, a step ahead. But we all play different. A lot of people always use de defense on a DMF, but that's my opinion on it. You can try it. You can try it differently. You can agree. You can disagree. Uh, you know, disagreeing is 100% fine. This is just what I do. This is just, uh, in my opinion, after playing 1,000 games. And um, that's what I do, my other instructions. Uh, I use counter target as well on AMF. Uh, when I have, like, uh, when I play any 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 shape of what an AMF and two strikers, when I use counter target on my AMF, one of my strikers drops. And that's really good if somebody's playing deep. Because usually if somebody's playing really deep, I'll most likely use false nine. When that striker drops, it will pull his defense with him, make it, creating more space for my midfielders or my wingers to come in. So I like it when I use counter target on my AMF because it's like two in one. You use counter target on AMF, one of your strikers drops. That's like false nine without even you using the false nine. So if you guys find this video useful, comment down below what kind of more tactical videos you want uh, regarding formations, etc. A lot of people have been asking me about Klob or Pep Guardiola. In that 433 video, it was, a, it was a video about 433. So that applies to all 433 managers. Obviously, they are tactically different. And if you watch certain videos regarding advanced instructions, gameplay tips, if you check that play, the playlist, past tutorials, especially if you are new, I guarantee you watch these videos and you will dominate. Um, I'm planning to make a defense video uh, collaborating with the Midnight Kid as well. Probably we're going to cover the tactical version and um, gameplay-wise defensively by Midnight Kid. Personally, um, I'm not that good at defending this year. I, I rush it. I rush it too much. I make a lot of mistakes. And the only thing I can t tip that I can give you defensively, if somebody's spamming you on the flank, this is something I said even back in PES 2015. Uh, don't try to tackle somebody who's about to cross. I mean, most of the time, don't even touch your fullback because that fullback would just lift his leg out to intercept that pass. You got to try to cut the passing lanes instead of randomly pressing a player on the ball. But that depends on situations. If somebody's playing very aggression, try not to make many passes in front of your box, especially against Klopp. Try to do low passes wide. And yeah, the defensive uh, styles that we defend, we either select a DMF or a midfielder or a center back, run back with it, and maybe press square for the AI to press. But pressing square most of the time is dangerous. I usually only double press with the AI if I want to trap somebody on the flank. Um, if they are cutting in to finish. If he's a crosser, most of the time I don't touch my fullbacks that much. But in the meantime, you see me, I do mistakes that a lot because... I play a lot on the live stream and my mind is never 100% there. So again, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more videos like that, uh, make sure to drop a like. It helps out a lot. That's all I'm asking. Share it if you wish and subscribe if you're new. I mean, Sep, till next time. Ciao for now. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn your notifications on so you will get notified when my next video uh, will be live. Greatly appreciate it, guys. Also, if you want to catch up on my live stream, I do live stream the My Club series as well. Uh, you can just go to my uh, Twitch channel, link is in the description. You can click on past, past broadcast or the highlights. <music>